Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. In this short video, I am gonna discuss some points about gene mapping. Gene mapping is nothing but a method to identify the locus of a gene and the distance between genes. Suppose it is written in the book that the affected gene on chromosome 13q14.3 or maybe 13q1.4 to q2.1. Sometimes it appears to be very confusing. So I am going to explain some points about nomenclature and how to read and how to interpret. Let's draw a chromosome. Here is the centromere the point what two sister chromatid attach together. As you know that the functional unit of chromosome is chromatid. Ok, let's separate one chromatid here. Chromatid has two arms. Q arm is also called long arm and P arm is also called short arm. After proper staining, some separate areas are visible under the microscope. Let's take one such area out of the chromatid. These areas are called region. Now region can be divided into more parts. They are called band and one single band can be divided into small parts. They are called subbands. Numbering starts from the centromere like 1, 2, 3 towards the telomere. Suppose it is written as 13q2.3 which signifies a specific gene location on chromosome number 13. Let's decode it. Here 13 is the chromosome number. Q is the long arm of the chromosome and the very first number just after Q is the region number. So here 2 is the region number and the number just after the point is subband number. So here 3 is the subband number. So the specific location of the gene is on chromosome number 13 on long arm, second region and third subband region. Suppose it is written as 13q14.3. You already know that 13 is the chromosome number and q is long arm and here 14 refers to region 1 and band 4. First number is the region and the second number is the band number. Please, please remember it is read as 1, 4, not 14. So the entire number is read as 13q14.3. Now another example. Suppose it is written like this. There is not two separate chromosomes. It only means that the gene is present on the long arm of chromosome number 13 somewhere in the range from subband 4 of region 1 to subband 1 of region 2. I hope next time you will not get confused like me. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.